I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, son. I'm back. I'm back, y'all. So first and foremost, I have to say I missed you guys. But you know what? I have to say this. I'm absent from YouTube for a week or a couple weeks or whatever. It's really a good thing. Like, that means I'm like, crazy freaking busy working on the music tip. Like, for instance, this little gap here, I moved 12 hours away from Dallas to Atlanta, for some of y'all who don't know that. And crazy stuff has been happening already, so I've been extremely busy, but I'm back, and I want to do another beat vlog, yay! This is my third beat vlog, and it's gonna be like the first one that I did. I played y'all some beats, so I'm gonna do that same thing today. And I was actually shocked about how many people enjoyed the last one, so. Um, here I am again. I'll do another one. I'm about to drop like a whole bunch of videos here in a second, but I just wanted to sit down and talk with you because I miss you. So again, I'm going to play y'all some beats and I'm going to give you a couple tips. Like I said before, I'm not a beat making guru, okay? I don't know everything there is to know about production and being a producer or whatever, but these are some things I've learned. If you know this stuff already, know it again, okay? Tip number one. Don't be afraid to be original or to be different. Granted, hip hop production all have the same format and the same structure, but there are ways to be original and flip some stuff. I mean, everybody who does trap beats, you're gonna have a similar sound, of course. That's just the reason why it's called trap beats. There have to be some kind of way, but there's always ways to put in your original. Just don't be afraid to. There's some people who are just afraid, like, uh, uh, I don't think people don't like this. That might be very much true, but it's your own original thing. Or if you're making trap beats, and it's like a normal trap beat or whatever, add like one sound in it and do something really weird to it to make it your own, to make it original. You know what I'm saying? Just don't be afraid to do something weird. Like, I'm weird. I embrace it. It's awesome. Like, weird is cool now. This beat is called So Far lost or something like that yeah beauty, beauty on the floor so slow so slow so slow go 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 But I like it. Tip number two. Do it again, but mixing up. Mixing is so important. In the little box below here, I have a link to my kit. And my kit, for all y'all who don't have any clue on how to mix, like at all, and don't do any mixing, has a video and it shows you the basics of mixing. Basics of mi mixing. Why is it so hard to say? Basics of mixing. Gone. Try to say that five times fast. I have to say it again. Mixing is so important. Tip three. Versatility. Don't be afraid to step out of what you even listen to. As producers, we have an advantage over artists because we can make any type of beat or any genre of beat that we want. As opposed to us artists, we can't just make an R&B record and then make a country record. I mean, it just you know, try something new. Do something you're not really used to. You know, you guys always see me doing trap stuff, maybe a little RB here and there. Check this out. shake your ass. Oh yeah, wait, look. I also have been taking up guitar lessons. This is my fifth day playing, so don't judge me, okay? It's hard, but like, 
something like this. Like, do something you just are not used to. Be versatile. Tip number four. As cliche as this is, and as this is gonna sound like, oh, it's such a whack tip. But it's so true. Like, it really is true. And it is to have fun. This is really, honestly, a hobby that we can make into a living. You know what I mean? And I'm so blessed to be able to do what I love to do for a living. Fun. Every day I do this, I wake up and do this. And just have fun. Do what makes you happy. Don't force anything. Watch, this is an old B I I made, but watch, watch how much fun I have. Have so much fun already. And I think you guys should too. I mean, that's just really, just have fun. Like, just go in and do stupid stuff. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, C E C E G online. And yeah, tell your friends about me. Say my videos, all the good stuff. I got a whole bunch more on the way. And I'm out of ATL. Shout out to y'all. Hit me up. You know what I'm saying? All right, I love y'all.